right, let's give it a good one forward here. Now you already know where this is going, and I've never been too good at leaving well enough alone, and when the price is right, and the price there being free, you know, I just uh, I can get easily distracted. There's much more deserving things I could definitely be working on at the moment, uh, different automotive projects, supercharged cars and whatnot, but nope, we're working on this old ancient mower, as is tradition, because that's completely a logical choice. So, you know, it didn't take a whole lot to get it going, surprisingly. A little bit of fuel, uh, change the oil like, you know, someone should. And uh, it burned a little bit of oil, but once it got a good crank to it, it was up and going and ran surprisingly well. So, you know, then I thought, well, shoot, you can't leave it in the woods and the weeds. And I decided I might as well try and have a little fun with the thing. You know, I've seen these people doing this off-roading stuff with a lawnmower. And so I thought I'd try my hand at that. And you can kind of see how that went. Did not work all too amazingly well, and we were not very successful. In fact, quite unsuccessful at that. So I kind of decided, eh, we should probably do something else with it at this point. So then I kind of thought, you know, I could use the thing around the property. That's kind of a logical thing to do, uh, you know, like a normal person would. And it worked okay for that. You know, I do have a Ford 9N tractor that I normally use, and this thing has one heck of a low gear, so you would think it could pull quite a bit, but it really just doesn't have the weight to offset that issue, which you'll see in a moment. But, I mean, for a little lawn tractor, it was pretty functional as far as what you'd expect from a mower that's all wore out and the deck's rusted off and, you know, smokes pretty good. But other than that, you know, I could use it around the house, but I already have things that are for that purpose. So I thought, well, you know, that was fun, but maybe we could do something else with the thing. I thought since the thing was geared so low, maybe we could move stuff around with it and whatnot here. But you can see, I don't know why I thought this would work. Um, you know, I'm just lucky I didn't shred the rear end doing this whole number. So with that, I think we decided that it's gonna just have to be a speed mower at this point. Cause you know, again, that's obviously the most logical choice. Howdy my friends and welcome to the channel today. I'm Luke. Thunderhead 289 here on YouTube. Now, with getting this lawnmower for free and it being, you know, at least it functions, I'd feel real bad if I just ended up not using it for anything and just sat around. It's pretty wore out, as you can see, and it's not really good for any one thing, you know, the deck being rusted off and everything. So, you know, we're going to send her out with her boots on. I've always kind of wanted to make a fast lawnmower. I guess that's every hillbilly's dream, question mark. So, anyway. Um, eventually I want to try and put some forced induction, either a turbo or one of those mini superchargers. I think that would do really well on this thing. But first things first, we have to make the thing fast. As you can see, it's super, super slow. So with that, let's get to doing some pulley swapping and see just how fast we can make this mower for the least amount of money. Because, you know, naturally that's how we do things around here. So yesterday I went to our local tractor supply store here and picked up some pulleys that should hopefully change the gearing on this tractor around from being geared for torque to geared for speed. So after some measurements, these are about the best size pulleys I could get that would actually fit in this thing. It doesn't lend itself amazingly to doing this, but this should make quite a difference based on what's in there. And if you're not familiar how a lawnmower drive works, you have the front engine pulley, your pulleys for the deck here, 
they come back to your clutch, your belt clutch tensioner here, where when you push in the clutch on the lawnmower, it releases tension, and then the belt is allowed to slip. That's what kind of allows you to stop and things. So in the back here, we have a absolutely massive pulley. So that's going to be our biggest difference today when we get that off. But, you know, as you can see, real simple, real cheap. So we'll just get our main... bolts off there that was easier than I thought all right and now it should come off maybe kind of sorta there's probably better ways there we go check out the steering link on this thing this tractor is super wore out some of the reason I got it for free that's probably why steering is but a suggestion on this thing at even five mile an hour. So, you know, I'm sure it'll be totally fine at speed. Bad decisions are about to be made. All right, onto the rear pulley here. And it's nice and tight. An access panel would have been handy, but of course we don't get one of those. So we got the bolt out. So you always want to use the right tool for the job, like a pulley puller, but I don't have one. So this is going to be my pulley puller. Oh, this just pains me. It's fine. And I guess I'll do this for the next 45 minutes. Oh, maybe not. Did you come loose? Ta-da! Look at that big old guy. I would love to put that actually on the engine and then the engine pulley back here, but unfortunately this lawnmower just doesn't allow for that. There's just not the room for this big guy to go up front, not even close. All right, we got our pulley on the front here. I would have loved to have used a bigger pulley, but this one is just about butted right up to our front axle. So this is as big as I'm gonna be able to get away with on the front, which is about a four and a half versus a two and a half that was originally on the front. So it is an improvement. All right, the pipe wrench, the gift that keeps on giving here. It's gonna be my extra set of hands to leave the clutch engaged. And now I think we can throw our belt on. All right, all in all, I think we're done. This isn't a perfect belt for this setup, but it's pretty good. I've never actually messed with a lawnmower belt here, but I'm pretty sure these are important being belt retainers that they're kind of aligned when you loosen the clutch. So that was kind of squirrely on the old setup. It actually seems better here. We got our small pulley out back, our bigger pulley up front. I think we're ready to go. about now, I bet that boy wishes he had a parachute. Okay, yeah, this was a really stupid idea. The thing's absolutely horrifying. It probably does 25 mile an hour the way it is right now. Uh, would not recommend. Steering is definitely terrible. It doesn't even exist. But, um, I don't know. Bad decisions were made. These are probably the original tires from when this 
thing was purchased back in the 80s. So, you know, needless to say, not the best. Safety first, we're just gonna imagine we didn't see this and then it'll be okay. Nice thing is that low RPM in first gear, it still has somewhat of a creeper gear to it. One pretty handy modification I unintentionally did here was that I divorced my brake from my clutch lever and then I actually hooked my brake to the deck lever here, modified it a little bit so it was at more of a straight angle. So that goes right to the brake by itself and then our clutch is just on the trans and that kind of allows me to go through the gears without everything being powered when we're going down the road so it doesn't feel like it's completely shredding the rear end. So this has been pretty handy for being able to downshift around a corner and still carry speed. Not that that matters because it's a lawnmower, but you know, it makes for a lot more fun of a ride than when you press in the clutch, you're also pressing the brake. So you can actually go through the gears when you're going down the road. All right, that was really stupid. Um, things it definitely needs, better steering and a locked differential. It cannot do a donut right now, which is, you know, kind of the big sad. Things it does not need is more power and more speed but i think a little bit more speed you know maybe 35 40 mile an hour and a supercharger or a turbo would really make this thing very interesting so stay tuned i'm probably going to keep messing with it because i should not be having this much fun but i totally am so i guess you guys are just along for the ride if you want to be but with that that's going to do it for today the preliminary testing to see if a, i guess a lawnmower could be fun and i think we found a way so with that i'll catch you guys next time